Today we are going to create this hand painting effect in After Effects using a very very rare effect that comes in After Effects and I guess not a lot of people know about it. In fact, I didn't know about it, but it's a very powerful effect. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I come in After Effects and in order to create this, you need a video file. Now it can be anything. You can just record whatever you want or you can use any stock video as well and also you need a picture of a hand so i just click this picture of my hand while pointing out like this so we can animate it and draw some lines so once you're done with this you can import them in after effects and you're ready to go so first we will create a new composition by simply dragging this inside this let's hide this out and now we can import our image as well or we can import it inside a new composition now we have to remove this background from our hand. Now there are a couple of ways in which you can do that. You can either use Photoshop or you can just simply mask out using the pen tool. But for this one, we can use rotor brush as well. So if I select this rotor brush tool, let's double click on this. Now here we have this. Now if I click and drag, you can see that it will easily trace my hand and you can see that it has included all the areas. Now if it has not included, then you can just simply click and just add the areas that you want to be included like this and in case it has included some areas like these that you don't want then you can hold on the alt key and just draw over it and you can see that it will remove them like that so i think this looks good once you are happy with this we can roto this out so we don't want to root out the whole thing we can just simply drag this endpoint to like that and after that let's set this to best and just click on freeze frame and it will take some time now we have soloed out our hand. There are a couple of settings that you can do. If I zoom in, you can see we are able to see some lines at the edges, which we can fix by simply increasing the feather a little bit. And after that, let's select the shift edge and I'm going to set this to a negative value like that. Now you can see we have got rid of those areas. We can increase the feather a little bit. Now the edges are smooth. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we can import this in the video. Let's import it like that let's enable our video which is below it perfect now we can select this and let's scale this down we are basically going to animate it by using the position property let's select the this and let's scale this up perfect now let's apply the effect that i'm talking about so it is a very rare effect i'm not sure if you have heard about it so it's called cc glue gun let's search for it and i'm going to drag it onto this raw video file and let me just quickly explain how this effect works so if i select this and you can see we have this brush width if i increase this you can see it will create this blob and if i add a keyframe for the brush position and if i move like little bit ahead and change its position you can see that it will actually start drawing and it will start revealing the video footage that is behind this and not only just revealing it also create this very interesting warping kind of effect which you can play around with these settings you can play around with the strength of it and if you want to make it a little bit like drippy then you can lower down the density and if i lower down the stroke width you can see that now we are able to see something like these dripping sort of thing Again, it's completely up to you can play around with these values. So the basic idea is to track our hand and like move it around it using the CC glue gun. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. So if I enable this now, if we want to move our this brush position as we are moving this finger, but we want to move it at the tip. So for that, we can select this and let's move its anchor point to this fingertip. Let's place it like that. Now we can parent this brush position to this position so if i press p let's select this hold on the alt key and click on this brush position now pick whip and select this position property now it will point with our finger so if i move my hand you can see that it will move this as well now we can easily animate it out so let's select this and i'm going to change its position to over here let's add a keyframe now there is one more thing if i move my cursor you can see that now the background is visible again so we can fix that by simply going to the very beginning and let's select this right click go to time and freeze frame now it will freeze the frame and it won't be visible so once you have this we can again select this let's set the stroke width to 50 and let's add a keyframe for position let's move around one second and i'm going to move this hand to the 
this side like this now here you can see we are able to see the back of the hand so for that we can select this let's press s and i'm going to quickly scale this up and we can also rotate it like this and so that we don't have to scale it a lot i think this looks good so here we have this hand and it is drawing now let's keep on doing that let's move one frame ahead and i'm going to move it down below we are basically drawing or like pointing out all the areas and let's again move one frame let's it's completely up to i'm going to move into this pattern but you can move it however you want let's move one frame ahead let's move it up let's move one frame ahead and or one second ahead and let's move it to this side again move one second and i'm going to let's complete this by moving it to this point so at after this we can move a little bit ahead and we can move our finger like out of this frame now if i press play you can see we have the drawing effect but it is not looking natural because the speed is not right we can fix that by simply selecting so this is our last keyframe and i'm going to select all these keyframes that are in between this first and last then we can right click and let's select the rover cross time now we can select all the keyframes and if i select the pen tool we can make the movement a little bit more natural by simply holding clicking on this and now you can see it will create the circular path which is more natural now if i press play you can see our hand will move more naturally like that now in case you are able to see some points then you can fix them by simply selecting this path and it's completely up to you. you can just move them however you want i can move it to this point and let's move it over here now in case you are able to see the hand at some places then you can just play around with the scale as well let's add a keyframe and over here we can make it like a little bit smaller just to add some things but make sure that these gaps are not visible like this so here we have the final effect now you will notice something that we are able to see some distortion and we can easily fix them by simply selecting this layer let's press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to delete this cc glue gun on top of this now you will notice that the original footage is little bit darker as compared to this so if i move it over here now this is a little bit dark we can fix that by simply applying a brightness and contrast effect but if you don't want then you can go to this layer and then play around with the light intensity you can set this to zero now the footage will match but we want this to be a little bit bright so we can increase the original one let's increase the contrast as well so now they are matching nicely let's place it to this point and we are basically going to play with the opacity so let's press t and as our hand has is moving out we can set the keyframe to zero so that we have this effect nicely done now there is one more thing we can select this and at the end we can select this keyframe easy is it let's change the curve to look like that so that we have a little nice motion perfect so this is how you can create this hand painting effect now you can play around with more natural movement of your hand it's completely up to you and you can use it as a transition between two videos so i hope you learned something from this video and the tutorial project files and the raw footage is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project file and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one